Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Guide My Career. This is Eva from Department of Meteorology and Oceanography, Andhra University. So in this video, we are going to see some basic and fundamental statistical parameters which we use uh, everywhere and also helpful for everyone. So actually these parameters are mostly useful for the people who deals with the data. Like uh, for example, if you want to see some fluctuations, whether there are there any fluctuations in data, how my data look, whether does it look good or bad. Uh, so these parameters will be very helpful for you. And also people like a forecasters, like uh, weather forecasters, marine forecasters, to know uh, to know the performance or skill or accuracy of their model in giving the forecast. Like this, uh, these parameters will be uh, uh, having uh, these parameters will have lot of applications. So uh, now we'll see what are all these basic parameters and uh, how do we define what are the formulas of those, and also we'll see. Uh, and also we calculate all these parameters uh, by using any sample data right so uh, the flow of the video somewhat look like this right so we'll start with one by one parameters uh, i'll just show you what are all these uh, basic uh, and fundamental statistical parameters and what is the name formula and definition of all this we'll see one by one coming to the first one of course you, you might have uh, aware of this term and a famous term called a mean or average it's nothing but sum of the values divided by the number of values in a data right coming to the formula you might have seen your standard textbooks like x bar equal to sigma I equal to 1 to n uh, x i by divided by n right but here for sake of my convenience i just changed x into o here o stands for the observed data or observed value right and coming to the second one that is a bias or error you can say what whatever you can say bias or error it is nothing but the difference between the predicted value and observed value means for example you have a two data, data sets in two columns the first column is a temperature temperature of your room uh, measured by the thermometer and the second column indicates the temperature of room uh, predicted by any model or forecasted by any model that means first column indicates the temperature of a room measured by the thermometer and second column indicates the temperature of room forecasted by any model right the first column indicates the observed data second column indicates the forecasted data so when you differentiate uh, when you uh, calculate the difference between these two columns you will get another column that is the difference between the first one and two columns right that third column is called it as difference or bias or error right and coming to the third very parameters that is the variance it's actually denoted by sigma squared it's uh, actually average squared deviation of each number from the mean of the data set right and coming to the fourth one that is a standard deviation uh, it's uh, denoted by sigma it's actually uh, square root of the variance for example you have a variance then if you apply the square root to that variance then you will get the standard deviation the formula for the standard deviation is as follows right don't get worry we'll i'm just uh, uh, introducing all these parameters one by one what is the name of the parameter what is the definition and a formula in further slides we'll go to we'll go in detailed manner and fifth one is the root mean square error that is like uh, here is the error what i told like uh, fi minus y forecasted uh, value minus observed value error squared mean and root right we have a, a error and you have to uh, square the error and then calculate the mean and then apply the root then it will be root mean square error and coming to the sixth parameter that is a scattered index again it is somewhat related to uh, root mean square error it is actually uh, calculated uh, by uh, dividing the root mean square error with uh, sorry dividing the root mean square error by mean of the observation that here it is a uh, rmse divided by mean of the observation o bar right and coming to the last one that is a correlation it is one of the famous uh, parameter called correlation it actually says the uh, linear relation between the two parameters uh, sorry two parameters or two data sets like uh, whether they can be forecasted data or observed data right just like uh, described in bias and uh, bias or error like this these are the seven a basic and fundamental statistical parameters which we use everywhere and mostly useful for everyone right so we'll see you again uh, one by one in detailed manner coming to the mean or average of course we know that in simple terms i can say it is the sum divided by the count here it is see 
the sum of all these numbers is nothing but 20 right 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8 plus 1 right and how many numbers are there count as a 5 so 20 by 5 equal into 4 that is a mean right but why did I mention the formula for the mean in three ways? Just uh, most of the times you might see uh, sometimes uh, formula for the mean is x bar equal to sigma equal to 1 to n xi by n or x bar equal to sigma x by n. So when you see only sigma or sigma with i equal to 1 to n, the meaning remains same. So whenever you see the formula like this, so don't get confused, the uh, meaning conveys the same, right? But in my case, I just as I told for my convenience, I just uh, uh, taken the um, uh, uh, o, o bar, right, instead of x. Okay, coming to the second one, that is a bias. And, uh, as I already told, it's a, uh, simply a difference between the uh, forecasted and observed data, observed values, right? Uh, it is a, it can gives the tendency, I mean, uh, 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 overestimate or underestimate tendency of a parameter. When you calculate the uh, bias or error, it gives the overestimate or uh, underestimate tendency of a parameter. For example, if model, if your model predicts the uh, a value uh, somewhat higher than your observed data, then you can say it as a overestimation. Similarly, if your model uh, predicts the lower, somewhat lower values than your observed data, then you can say your model is somewhat under, uh, say, underestimating. That's what we call it as underestimate or overestimation. Okay. And coming to the variance, it is actually calculate the average square difference of each number from the mean of the data set. That is what here it is mentioned. See, this is the difference between the each value in the observation and observe mean of the observation. Squared and average. So difference between the this is the difference, and then this is the squared, and then this is the mean. So, difference squared average, that is the average squared difference of each number from the mean of the data set. That's what we call it as a variance, right? So, actually it, what it measures is, it measures the average degree to which each point differs from the mean. It, it can also be derived from the standard deviation. For example, if you have a standard deviation, if you simply square the standard deviation, you will get the variance, right? It is denoted by the uh, sigma squared and the units are the squared units of the parameter itself. That is, for example, if you are calculating the variance of the parameter which has a units in meters, then you will get the squared meters for the units of uh, variance. Similarly, uh, if you are, uh, if you are, un I mean, if uh, units of your parameter is kilometers, then you will get the squared kilometers of a vari uh, variance of that parameter, like that. And here I just mentioned small uh, steps for the bigness, like who doesn't deal with all these parameters never then it's simply first you have to calculate the mean and subtract the mean from each observation and then square each of those uh, resulting observations and uh, add then the squared results together and divide that to the, uh, divide this total by number of samples and data then you will get the variance and uh, if you apply the square root for that then you will get the standard deviation that what we are going to see in a next slide this is what if you have a, once you calculate the standard, uh, sorry, variance, then if you apply square root for that, you will get the standard deviation. And of course, one thing is uh, to be reminded that standard deviation can never be negative. And uh, what actually it measures is, it measure, it is a measure of how far each observed value from the beam. Generally, if you see this image, like after calculating the standard deviation for a data set, what you will come to know is, in a data set, how uh, each value is apart from your mean value of the data set. This is what how it is mentioned in the image. So this is a mean value, mean value is 5. So this 2 is uh, 3 units far away from the uh, mean, like that. So each value in a data set, how far it is from the mean value of the data set. It, it tells the, the standard deviation tells somewhat this, right? And uh, uh, you can also come to know by after calculating the standard deviation of your data, if it is high, then you can understand that your data has high, um, I mean, your data is widely spreaded from the mean. That means very far from the mean. And if your uh, standard deviation is low, that means the values in your data set uh, uh, narrowly spread. That means uh, quite uh, near to the mean. That means 
you have less fluctuations in your data so like that after uh, applying the after calculating the standard deviation for your data you will come to know that this information like whether my data is widely spreaded uh, from the mean or narrowly spreaded mean, narrow, narrowly spreaded from the mean these details right it is actually denoted by sigma and of course units are the uh, same as a parameter itself means for example if you are a, a parameter which is has which is having the units of meter then same units meters you will be applicable i mean come under uh, units as uh, um, units for the standard deviation right and here is the formula and uh, it is nothing but simply a square root of the variance this is a variance if you apply the square root for the variance you will get the standard deviation and coming to the a small uh, variation other than the units between the um, variance and standard deviation another difference is standard deviation actually shows the uh, how spread of spread out of uh, a group of values is from the mean by just looking the square root of the variance but whereas the variance as just the average degree to which each point differs from the mean okay this is a bit a difference see more majorly the theme of the uh, how far the each value in a data set differs from the uh, uh, mean is more or less uh, applicable for the both uh, uh, standard deviation and variance but standard deviation gives more uh, clarity on that how how um, widely or narrowly spread your data uh, from the mean value of your data sheet right data and coming to the fourth one uh, root mean square error that is uh, uh, standard deviation of the residual again see this is a formula for the standard deviation right so in place of this o i minus o mean squared if you keep residuals that is nothing but the error f i minus o i squared same if you replace this term o i minus o bar squared with f i minus o i squared then it will be root mean square error this is the difference square mean and root that's why you call it as a root mean square error again it is a measure of the uh, how these residuals uh, um, uh, spreaded away from in and around the uh, line of best fit see when you compute calculate the root mean square error what you will come to know how these residual residuals means difference between the observed and uh, forecasted value for each corresponding observed and uh, forecasted values right so how these residuals are spread spread out in and around the uh, line of best fit that does mean indirectly it is saying how your data uh, how are the values in your data sets spreads out in and around the line of best fit right that's what it tells it tells you how concentrated the data is around the line of best fit right this is what regarding the root mean square uh, error and uh, terms in a, uh, a formula explained here like summation uh, sigma i equal to 1 to n is nothing but summation or addition of the starting uh, i value from 1 to n like that and we'll see next parameter as a scattered index it is uh, nothing but rmsc normalized with average uh, observed value that means if you have a uh, rmsc then uh, you can get the scatter index by simply dividing the RMSE with the mean of the observation. Right? This is what mentioned here. It represents the percentage of the percentage of the RMSE uh, root mean square error with respect to the mean of the observation. That means it gives the expected error of the parameter. Right? And if you want to explain and if you want to present a scatter index in terms of uh, uh, percentage, you can simply multiply. A scattered index with 100 then you can get the scattered index in terms of percentage as well this is what the formula for this is the rmse and this is the mean of the observation so rmse divided by mean of the observations you will get scattered index and coming to the last parameter that is a correlation as i told already it's a measure of the linear relationship between the two data sets like is there observed and forecast observed and forecasted data for example you have a, a one column in which you have a observed data and the second column you have the forecasted data if you want to find the relation linear relation what kind of linear relationship between their those two para two data sets then you have to use the parameter called correlation the formula given here is there are here actually three formulas were given here so any one of the formula you can use these are the formula for the co um, correlation in terms of covariance and variance 
of the observation and forecast and this is another same the meaning or the results remain same when you use any of these formulas right and the correlation the value of the correlation ranges generally from the minus negative 1 to pos positive 1 that is uh, minus 1 to uh, plus 1 so uh, we basically see some kind of a positive negative and no correlation scenarios as i mentioned here don't get worry about this line and all we'll see we'll cover all this what is the trend line how to plot what is the line of best fit and uh, and all in next further videos as of now you can see this is a for positive correlation and this is a negative correlation and this is a no correlation right so actually this is not exactly positive complete i mean uh, strongly positive that's why here the values are mentioned 0 0.5 the more or less all values uh, lies on this uh, straight line then we can say that is a one when the r equal to one that is a perfect positive correlation when the r is equal to minus one that is a perfect negative correlation when the r equal to zero that is a no correlation that does mean there is no relation between the two per between those two parameters right like this we describe all these uh, basic and fundamental statistical parameters when you have a data set with you but at the end of this video, I mean, not end of this video, sorry, uh, I can say uh, um, this is a small uh, uh, FAQ, frequently asked a question that mostly uh, arises for the beginners who are uh, not familiar with all these uh, terms before. So uh, why to square the difference? We have differences like uh, this kind of differences, like a difference here or here, right? why to square all every time we are squaring those differences why to square and why to apply the root what if we not the square and root apply the root see for example this is the differences for example this is the positive four positive four and negative negative four these are the differences when i add those differences and uh, divided by when i apply this uh, uh, mean for these differences what do i get the result is zero plus four plus four and negative 4 negative 4 will cancel out each other and gives the zero result when you not apply square when you not square the difference right so to overcome this issue if you apply the modulus that is absolute whether if it is a value if it if you get the negative value negative negative 4 or positive 4 you always consider the positive that's what you absolute right in that case also we are getting some value but it's not, that's not incorrect that is not uh, correct to overcome this issue, we always square the difference and apply the root. See, so when I apply the square for the difference, when I apply the square to these differences, you will get the 4. And similarly, for this case, another example, you are getting 4.74. This is what difference when uh, you apply square root and as well as mod. Actually, there are a lot, there are a lot of fluctuations, 7, uh, 1, minus 6 minus 2 but is still it is giving the 4 that's why to overcome that issue again we have to square and root then you will get the actual deviation from the actual deviation of each value in a data set from the mean of the data set like this hope you all understand what are all uh, basic uh, and fundamental uh, statistical parameters which we use uh, in handling data and all